Hey guys, what's going on? How's everyone doing? Yes, it's me. I'm back again, finally. And ironically enough, so is the Halloween franchise, so let's talk about that shit. Now, the most convenient thing about this movie is that it's technically a direct sequel to the original, which is another way of saying that the studio is trying to tell you, hey, remember all those other bullshit sequels that we've been doing for the past 20 years? Yeah, don't worry about those. Which is convenient because there's a lot of bullshit that I really don't want to sift through. On the other hand, this is probably the first sequel to have the exact same name as the original, and I don't know who the fuck came up with that idea, but it was still convenient that I only had to watch one other movie to get into this one. I would tell you the basic plot of this movie, but it's kind of irrelevant. Because it's a Halloween movie, you know what the fuck's up. The only thing is Jamie Lee Curtis's character has a daughter and a granddaughter, so it's kind of a legacy film. But at the end of the day, those are just minor details, and the actual core of the movie is about Michael Myers trying to come back and kill a bunch of people, and that hasn't changed. And first impressions overall, I did like the movie. However, there's some things in there, th there was definitely a spectacular movie somewhere like disheveled in there, but there was just some times where it just didn't quite like click and it just kept itself from being as awesome as humanly possible. One of the best parts about the movie is probably some of the direction. So if you were to show any random person any random clip in the movie, with the exception of maybe like one scene in it, they would probably be really impressed. Plus, at one point, I'm pretty sure there is a j almost five minute long tracking shot that has zero cuts in it. So to me, that really screams that everybody on the movie really gave a shit about the movie. The biggest problem that I had, though, was that this movie, as much as it is a sequel, it is also kind of a soft reboot and they kind of tried to Force Awakens slash Prometheus eyes the movie a little bit too much here and there. And sometimes it worked. Other times I was just like, dude, why? For example, if you've seen the original Halloween, you know, there's a scene involving a bus and they basically recreate that entire scene with like one or two differences. And when I saw it, I was just kind of like, dude, fucking, but really? I understand the purpose of that scene, but you couldn't have come up with something better than that. Or at least something different and somewhat original. And that's also not the only time that that happens in the movie. But then there's other times where it's absolute genius though. Like there will be a scene or a shot from the original Halloween that they take in this movie, but they kind of either twist it or they kind of make it their own and put their own little spin on it, and that's when it's awesome. But as far as the line between ripoff and homage goes, this movie was mostly on the side of homage, but when it hopped on the side of ripoff, I was just kind of like, dude, yeah, come on, get some ideas here. And as far as the music goes, I would say the same thing, but musical themes are something that's kind of meant to be repeated, so I don't really put that as a negative necessarily. Like, the recognition of Halloween comes from that creepy piano part, and they, you know, they have that in the movie. But they also have some of that like 80s synthy shit in the movie that was from the original as well. And they try to have some more original stuff, but they keep the synth thing in there to like kind of keep the same vibe. But again, same thing. A lot of times it's good, but other times it's like, eh, you're trying a little too hard to be close to the original. And lastly, there's one moment in the movie that I'm not sure I'm totally on board with. It's kind of a weird reveal-ish that they didn't really like build up or foreshadow in any way, shape, or form. And it just felt kind of random. And I don't know if it actually made sense for that particular character. Like, I I just kind of sat there and was like, okay, I'll accept this, but overall, I don't know if it made sense. But besides all that, I had a good time with this movie. The scares were good, and the music, even if it wasn't totally original, it was still well-timed. The movie's a little bit gorier than I would have liked because that kind of detracts from how, like, kind of subtle Michael Myers is as, like, this creepy, evil character. But at the same token, he is kind of a brutal character, and I feel like that's the side that they more so tried to portray. So I was kind of like, all right, I can deal with that. And there wasn't a lot of bad acting either. Like, there was only, like, maybe one or two actors that I was just kind of like, eh, I can do without these people. And Jamie Lee Curtis was great, as I expected. And just the whole third act in general, I thought that was just a shitload of fun. Like, I was just waiting for shit to go crazy. And one last thing that I didn't like is there's one scene in the movie that is there strictly for comedic purposes that really just didn't need to be in there. I think the movie was trying to let you know that it was, like, self-aware and that it understood, like, exactly what it was trying to do in that moment. But it just, like, derailed the movie for a minute and it just kind of fucked up the tone. So as a scene, it worked, just not really for this movie. But anyway, guys, overall, I had a good time with this movie. The scares were there and that's what a horror movie is meant to do. So based on everything I've said, for a score out of 10, I think I'm going to give it a straight 8.0. If you're a fan of Halloween, you'll probably enjoy the movie. If you're a horror fan in general, I'm pretty sure most of you are going to eat this shit up. But even as a casual fan of Halloween, I would gladly go see this movie again in a heartbeat. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Have you seen this movie? Have you heard of it? Were you excited for it? Hop in the comments. Let me know what's up. Other than that, if you like this review, give me a like, subscribe to all that other bullshit, and I will catch you guys later.